Okay, walking into Black Diamond, you've got new tile, new carpet. To the right here is a family room, tall, vaulted ceilings. All the way up. There's your formal dining area. You have your stairs. The staircase actually looks like it's been restained to that darker wood. It goes all the way up and around. That's kind of nice. It kind of gives the house a little bit more of a modern feel. The paint throughout the whole house is kind of like a grayish blue. It's, re it's actually a really nice paint. The house has um, a ready to go pre-wired alarm system and I will find out if they've ever had problems and they've had to use it. Um, they might, by the way, they might not know because this is a bank owned home. Um, going through, just like on Keen, right to the left, there was a laundry room. There's a wash basin, some storage, some more storage. And then through the door is three car garage. Now, I usually pop the doors open to get some light in here, except the second car garage is not working. Um, I don't know if it's just an alignment or what, but that is not working. There's your air um, intake handler system. I looked it over at all. It looks actually to be in pretty decent condition just from what I can see. Um, and then you have a good size water heater here. Walking back through, <clears throat> coming into the house again, you have a neat little inlet here right outside the laundry room. This room, you have a full size, I'm sorry, yeah, um, powder room here. I'm so, yeah, it is a, no, I'm so sorry. It is a full size bathroom down here. Now this room is kind of funny. I don't really know what it is. It's off of here. I'll go back. Here's over there's the kitchen, ki kitchenette area, family room with the fireplace, funny little inlet right there. And then this room right here is just kind of odd. I guess you can use it as like a bonus room or office or something like that. I would almost rather see this wall right here gone and open this whole space up. This would make this room flow a lot better. This wall is just making that room and the flow kind of odd. This wall right here also is, to me, reminds me of a trip hazard, but is also kind of breaking up the flow of the living room to kitchen. Um, kitchenette area right here, that does look like a newer fixture. This island looks like it's been repainted um they have some counter new cabinets and countertops i don't know if this is just a realignment situation but like looking at them here your um drawers are set on sideways so i don't know if it's just the quality or if it was just the person that um, installed them not all the other ones are bad this one right here is is off again these two those are off again um, the rest of them aren't too bad. They are, they do look like a very nice quality um, cabinets and countertops. Pretty decent. Going out here, this is the dining area. You do have original fixtures, it looks like, and everything does point back out, or it's got a really nice view of the golf course and backyard. So standing in here, you just have golf course views all the way around, which is really nice. Let me see if I can get you a better view of it. There you go. So you just have really wide open golf course views from inside the house. Now upstairs, you walk up and you have this big inlet area too on the wall. Secondary bedrooms, extra storage over here, and Right to the right is your master. Inside your master, the new paint is throughout the whole house, but inside the master, you have original fixtures, light and ceiling pan. 
I've also noticed too, and I'm so sorry I forgot to mention down in the kitchen, there was a lot of lights that were not in working condition. I don't know if that is anything to do with electrical. I don't know if that is a light bulb issue. Lots of light of windows, beautiful, again, beautiful views of the golf course, kind of like what we just saw downstairs. Then you have his and hers closets, which is really nice. That is where your security system is wired. And it looks like both of the closets are about the same size. The bathroom, now this is kind of funky. I'm gonna step back so you can see. There is no shower door here. And it's kind of common for a snail shower, but this is not really a snail shower. You have new tile throughout the shower, and then you have a little inlet there. But if you are if you have someone standing here and they're rinsing off, all it, down here is gonna get soaking wet. So I would recommend installing a shower door. Um, also, I was gonna close this before I turned on the video, but this, you're gonna need a new toilet. It's pretty gross. Um, beautiful cabinets. Beautiful. Um, the sinks have got original fixtures. Original lighting. Let's see if I can change that back over there. And then the other thing I wanted to point out to you too that I saw is this tub looks to the original, which just might not be the end of the world, but the, if, since it is a jet system, I don't know, we would have to get that checked to make sure that's in working condition. Um, what I did also notice is you got a crack right here. This is just really dirty, it just needs to be cleaned up. A um, little bit of elbow grease, that's just cosmetic, which isn't uh, the end of the world. But, you know, if I see that a house is, has new paint, new uh, flooring and stuff, I would have expected them to clean this up a little bit more. I'm kind of a little sad that they didn't do that in the tub since they did spend a lot of money in, in other places. Um, there's some cracking right here. This just needs to be re -cocked. something that the home inspector will, will probably call out. But um, sitting in the tub, again, you do just have really pretty views. All right, going towards the secondary bedrooms, this is a laundry chute. There's your air conditioning. These are actually pretty good sized bathrooms. You got dual sinks, original fixtures. Toilet needs to be cleaned up and tub. These rooms are really good size. Um, they're a lot bigger than your average size bedroom. They're probably, I'm looking at it maybe over 15 feet by 13 feet or so. They're pretty good size. They might even be bigger than 15. That's the, the one that we were just in was the biggest secondary bedroom. You've got some, a lot of natural lighting in this room, storage up here. In one of the other bedrooms, you have a hole in the wall here. That would need to be patched up. And then walking into the third secondary bedroom. You just have standard size closets in all of the rooms. And we will head downstairs to the backyard now. Okay, stepping out onto the back patio. This is looking straight directly to the left. You have your golf course views. Straight ahead is a spa. And then your very large Pebble Tech pool. And if you keep going to the right, you have a built-in barbecue and an RV gate on the other side. Really good size. The lot, let me see if I can get back in the shade. There we go. The lot is actually a really good size lot. It's a corner lot. You got a lot of room. This pool looks to be in pretty decent condition. It needs to be um, cleaned and maybe this little vacuum hasn't been on for a little bit, but you do have pretty nice Pebble Tech pool. You have a bench here, 
steps here and a little platform here. Your spa's got a little runoff to warm the pool up. This might be maybe a six person spa. That's pretty nice and you have a little edge there. This step right here actually looks like there's a crack in here so that would need to be uh, repaired. And then right in the middle there you can put an umbrella. So right behind this wall is the pool equipment so you don't have to look at that. So again, beautiful views, nice golf course, and that's going back out to the front of the house. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll talk to you soon, Lance. The pool equipment looks like it has a quite a bit of sun damage to it. We'd have to get that inspected. The back of the house looks like it has a bunch of um, golf ball pock marks. Closer look here, you can see some of the holes in the stucco from the golf balls. Here's a couple more up to the, your top left um, in the front of the house. And there's one right here right below the window, also an exposed electrical outlet. 